In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. I went ahead and moved some workbenches around. I'm still trying to find the best placement for the lights um, with the, uh, the glow sticks and trying to figure out how I want to get them placed. Um, I'm still, I still trying to figure out what that, that coloring is. I think that's like the fence line at the edge of the world. Um, but yeah, I need to figure out what setup I want to do, how I want to, but I mean, I like the two lights as they are right now, but before the day gets away from me, I want to run back to the old place. See, it's been. Ooh, actually, I don't think it's been long enough. I wanted to go run and check on all the potatoes and see where I'm at on those. But um, I remember. No, I can run over there. It's been several days. There should be some movement on potatoes. We'll go check it out. Let's uh, I should have to check on the chicken. Last episode, I went ahead and checked on it. So I think we're just going to go ahead and just head out and see what kind of trouble we can get in going back to the old base today. Now, as far as I know, I'm recording this on Thursday and publishing it on Friday. At this time, the update isn't still isn't live yet. It's still on experimental. It doesn't mean you can't play it. It's just you have to opt it in for it. Um, I don't know if, um, I have a feeling it's going to come out really soon. I just don't know. Gold Games hasn't said anything to me. I'm just, I got a feeling. Oh, bandage. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> very worth it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I'm tracking like a, uh, like a, uh, a, a French, uh, chef right there. It makes no sense, but whoa, thank you very much. I'll stop, I promise. And if you believe that, you haven't watched this channel very often. I almost ran past Scrap. How dare I? I mean, come on, it's Scrap. You never run past Scrap. Now, people have been asking me to attack the Hunters. I will. I want to get Molotov cocktails made. That's why I want to run to the other base, because that's where I'm growing all my potatoes right now. Worst case scenario, I can bring it all back over here to process it. Even though the idea was to make them over there. I don't think I have all this stuff over there. I know I don't have enough cloth. I saw some boxes over here. I wanted to come over and grab them real quick. Or at least one box. Might as well get a load of resources on the way out there. Ooh, we got a plank. See, it's, it's good loot already today. A bandage and a plank. Very nice. No, I'm not going to. Oh, hello. I'm not going to do the uh, the uh, French chef again. Ah, another plank. Thank you. Oh, they're going to attack my base. <laughs> so two of his buddies already got waylaid by animals. And he's on the run to attack my base. Interesting. Oh. He's going up against the wolf. That's why I wanted to come over. I was like, hey. Free food or free hunter bags. Which is it going to be? Oh. Ooh. Glad I took that wolf out quick because he was level four because I got near him so he healed up. That's okay. I was like, hey, free loot, I'm grabbing. Now, these were rogue hunters. That guy was going by himself to 
That's weird. I don't know if he was actually going to attack my base or not. That's what it looked like. He was at a full sprint and he wasn't chasing me or, or anything like that. So now this camp's going to be aggroed to me since I went ahead and uh, even though they were being killed by the wolf, I interjected myself and decided to uh, help on the side of the wolf. Uh, they're going to attack me anyways, but eh, whatever. I, yep, see, there that guy finally reached my base. So he's attacking my base now. Ooh, thank you. Free mass. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let him do his worst over there. It's not going to be much. I'm going to laugh if I come back over there and he's stuck like that other one was. And he's just sitting there. Duh, 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 stuck against the, uh, the boards. I'll just eh, put an arrow in his head. Actually. Take that back. I'll put a nine mil bullet in his head. Arrows, I have to keep making. Nine mil, I've got so many nine mils, it's not funny. Now, I didn't grab protein, which is probably going to be a mistake. But I can cook it when I get back to, the, uh, to my old base. I've got the supplies over here, which is why I left supplies. You know, I even have a refrigerator over here. Um, okay, take in the area. I'm not going to mess with the moose. Um, not because I don't think I can handle it. Because my inventory is kind of full right now. And it would just be a waste of supplies. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get the bag that I saw. But I did grab the fiber, so. <laughs> there. There. Oh, 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 I just saw you corner of my eye. I want to swing this way real quick. Cut the difference between the two of you. Hopefully not get myself in any kind of trouble with those wolves. That'd be most preferred. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I don't know where that hunter from uh, the base hunter came from. So... He runs faster than I do, I'm pretty sure. He could actually catch up to me. I could actually see him probably not on the way back. Oh god, more planks. Oh my lord, it's planktastic. But I could run to that hunter at basically any time right now. On his way back. But like I said, I don't know what base he came from. My guess is probably one of the smaller bases. Since it was one lone hunter. And the fortress would probably have sent out a few hunters. Um, Kind of doing good on food. Let's eat two blueberries. Just to fill up my fruits, fruits and protein bar. Or fruits and vegetables bar. Excuse me. I misspoke. I know this base got attacked at least once while I was gone. I'm wondering what kind of damage. I mean, it should just be damage to the BCU. But another good reason to come over here is to check and see how this base is doing. Kind of wish it was a little closer. I mean, it was way on the other side. But it also fits in the theme that if I wanted to, I could come all the way over here, gather all the way, crass when I get over here, take back the stuff I've crafted or the uh, the spoils and leave what I need to here and rinse and repeat and it becomes a, a good farming path <gasps> a cotton seed oh, very nice probably plant that back at the main base All right so this should have taken some damage yes that took damage let's go inside I'm guessing I don't know if this, if this is old damage or new damage. Oh my lord. They've been doing some serious damage to my floors. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. That placement isn't the best. Um, ignition. Go ahead and ignite. Put that in there. 
Um, I don't know. I don't think I need the mess. I'm, um, I'm gonna need. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I need the VCU to be close enough to power everything, but I didn't take into account the damage from the explosion is going. It makes no sense that damage is reaching that high, but oh, I need to make a BCU. Can I make one? Do I have this? I do have just the right amount of stuff. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to waste resources fixing this base over here. Because this is going to cost a lot. Of, I mean, basically all the wood that I just went and got, I, I would end up wasting trying to fix this base. And that doesn't, does not make me happy in the least. All right. Eat that. I'm going to go ahead and extinguish it. It might be considered a waste, but I don't need to uh, be concerned with that at this time. Let's go ahead and get the generator on. Actually, I should have left this on for a while so I could process more biofuel, but I can bring it back later. Just want to build up some resources. Okay, so I have a BCU. I know my problem is the bubble. So let me grab this light. Can I shift the bubble? Oh yeah, I can actually get that much okay how far can i push and still take care of the solar panels oh yeah i'd have to move solar panels a little bit at least though i'm gonna have to move some solar panels but i think i can shift everything here's what i will do grab this and this took almost no damage, which is just infuriating. Let's stick it as low as I can down here. And then drop that right there. I could see explosions and stuff happening around here, but maybe if I move it further over this way, that it'll be just fine. <laughs> I got the generator running, but no place for it to put power. I just wasted all the power that I, I'm not thinking very good today. Let's just be honest. All right. So I'm going to put this as low into the ground as it'll let me. There we go. Okay. Now that I know I'm going to have to move solar panels if I want them to work, but let's see where the bubble is now. Okay, so the bubble comes actually inside. It's covering everything that I needed to in here, which is fine. And what am I gonna have to do with the solar panels? Put them all back here. I, okay, no problem, I can do that. I don't need to, actually they're probably still hooked up. Mm, no, they're not. I mean, they're providing power, but the power is not going anywhere. We'll just stick them over here. And then the next time I come over, I can see how the, uh, the damages and see if it's, if it, if I move the damage, you know, am I going to have to break down and fix this place, which I'd rather not do, if I didn't have to. But, you know, worst case scenario. And right there. Now, these should all be basically right at 100. 99, I'm happy. More than happy. All right, let's, so let's grab these potatoes. At least my potato farm took, took no damage. You know, if it wasn't for wanting a refrigerator over here and stuff like that, typically I just take the BCU away from this base 
and uh, don't deal with it at all. And I just leave it as a as a skeleton that the, the hunters don't even care about. And all it does is just grow vegetables for me. Oh, so close. I have some fertilizer. Maybe I'll get lucky and while I'm in the area, it'll, uh, it'll grow out. F. Let's get these planted. I'm gonna need a few more. I do agree with the idea that why can't we ex have anyone that will do it extract eight <laughs> instead of extract five? I, I do agree. There was a comment out there. It's like, why is it that we can't do this? And, you know, at first I was like, well, you know, it's really not that hard. But just having done it, I'm like, you know, they've got a really good point. Why is it that we can't, you know, X? This one actually does make sense. At least in my humble opinion. Okay, so I'm happy. I've got over a hundred potatoes over here. I'm good with the potatoes. Let's see. Um, swap that out for now. Power is going to be my uh, Achilles heel here for now. Yep, just ran out of power. Oh no, I should be able to make another one. There we go. And one more in the refrigerator still won't turn off. Awesome. Now, I don't think we need, we, sh we shouldn't have to use clean water for this. Um, once again, it's my opinion, but I'm using a distillery to, to make it. I should be able to use dirty water. Uh, it makes no sense that I have to use clean water. Let's go ahead and drop my potatoes off. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this, most of the stuff in here real quick and run and get water. The uh, alcohol won't be done. Another th great thing about this base, I don't care. I'm just gonna set the alcohol to process, get as much alcohol going as I can, and just run back to the other base and I'll come back over another couple days. And then I'll finally have the alcohol I need to make the uh, Molotov cocktails. And once I have that, then I will go after the hunters. I'm also kind of leaning toward, I don't want to waste time attacking hunters, at least at their bases, until I can BC, uh, BCU crack the smaller ones. I haven't decided yet if I want to redo the, the fortress, crack it. I probably will. I've just been of the mind that the, uh, the fortress just never really was worth it to crack. Once again, in my opinion, I know I keep saying that I don't want to act like I'm the be all know all and you must listen to me or anything like that. I'm not trying to be that way. Missed one, but oh, well, yeah. See how long is this going to take? It's just going to take forever. Um, I can get one more alcohol going one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I have the right amount. I'll just leave it the way it is because I'm going to need water, as you can already tell. So I'm going to keep what I have. Anything else that I want to grab while I'm over here? Um, actually, I do have two canteens. I'm going to swap that out so I can take a, a second canteen with me. No, nope. and I've got stuff to make fire again, so I'll do that next time. Probably leave it running this time so I can process all that fat. Cause that was kind of a dumb idea to uh, start the fire and not just let the fire keep going. And that probably wasn't my smartest uh, process there. I don't need that stuff over here for any kind of crafting I'm gonna be doing. I think that's good. Um, I don't see myself doing any kind of cooking over here. I wanna get half the resources back. It wasn't a great return, but at least it was something. The refrigerator I'll keep because I will start when I have meat from over here, I will start putting my meat and stuff over here. Generator ran out of power. 
but the power should still be going up very slowly. Unfortunately, I use a lot of power as well, so. It won't go out. Eventually, I'll come back over here and it should be full power the next time I'm over here. These potatoes should be ready to go. They are awesome. A little bit of fertilizer helped. There's the first alcohol made. Um, I'll extract exactly the right amount. I know I've got, I didn't want to eat three raw potatoes. Extract seed, extract seed, extract seed. I'm an idiot, but oh well. My fruits and vegetables are doing good right now. And I'll probably take that small amount of potatoes back with me. That way I can augment the potatoes I'm using back at the main slash new base. Swing around that, that wolf. Well, so far so good today, honestly. I love all the planks and the wood I got. Um, getting a bandage was really nice. Especially since I haven't been using, I've been trying to uh, control my bandage use. Typically, it's like instantly I'm bleeding. Use a bandage. I'm just trying, you know what? I'm, I can do without it. Be careful, but I can do without it. I see fiber on the trail. This is a really good area if you're trying to start as a new player. There usually is a lot of fiber. This is one of the warmest spots on the map, especially like in the winter. Even in the middle of a storm, you can get away with stepping outside. And you're not going to freeze to death right away. So this is a pretty good area. There's just a lot of wildlife in the area. You have to be careful about that. <laughs> Troll-tastic. I refuse, but still, it's the game's going to troll me every chance it can. Um, can I reach it without jumping? Oh, I can. Awesome. Might as well grab iron, like I said, on the way by. I pass too much ores up, especially in the beginning of the game, when I basically don't need ore very often, I'm more apt to just pass it up and keep running. And it usually bites me in the end or in the late game and we're kind of like there and it's biting me in the end. So trying to remember, remind myself to go after it. Speaking of that, I have seen a few rabbits and haven't gone. Oh my Lord. Oh, two bandage and a cloth. Yes, please. Thank you. And can I have some more, uh, please? That is definitely what the cloth doctor out ordered. Oh, another potato, 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 tomato, tomato, that same moose, huh? Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to check and make sure it's not ready in season before I get too close to him. Like the last time when I wasn't paying attention, I'm like, Hey, level three moose, I'm going to run towards you because I want to grab this and the moose attacks me. I'm like, what are you doing? I forgot it was rutting season. Damn, moose almost killed me. Scared the ever but Jesus out of me. Nails? Nice. Not that I don't have a lot of nails, but you know, you can never have enough nails. Though I am almost to the point that I can start putting nails in the mass recycler. I know heresy, right? But I don't need them all. I've gotten, I got a lot of nails. Okay, you can stop running, rabbit. On the hoof. Thank you very much. I am not going to waste space. I'm just going to go ahead, butcher and drop. Just keep stacking that right on the cloth. Ooh, I'm, I am seeing the strawberries today too. Mr. Bear, how you doing? 
I am curious to see how much damage. I mean, it was one lone hunter. I'm guessing he didn't do a lot of damage to my base over here. Though I do need to think how I'm going to... <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking there are ways that I can force them to come out in the water, put a wall up on the, the beach maybe. I don't like the idea of using walls. It doesn't work very good. Um, they have ways of breaching walls now. I don't know if they actually use a breaching charge, but I think they actually, like if you have like a completely encircled base with a wall, that they'll actually come up to your wall with a breaching charge and blow your uh, your wall open and then, you know, come through and attack. So they won't actually enter your base, but they will blow their way to get close enough to attack your base. I haven't tried using a wall since uh, Cole Games added that feature. I mean, if all they're going to do is breach it, it's just a, a waste of my resources. Oh, see? Mr. Hunter is stuck. Second time I've had hunters stuck over here. Maybe that's going to become a thing now. Now this one won't be as easy as to kill as the last one was. Or are you fishing? Ah, uh, hear that noise? That's the one hunter for sure. I think this hunter's fishing. Or he thinks he's fishing, but he's not. Oh, he just saw me. I decided to use rifle rounds since he was fully armored. Oh, medical tonics. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, I'm back talking like the French chef. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so there sounds like there's another hunter over here stuck. Oh, yep. Stuck in the little thing right here. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh, he's taking his gun out. Kill him off quick. I heard a gun come out. I'm like, oh, no. Okay, hey, give me a rifle round back that I wasted, so I'm good with that. Uh, home sweet home. Yeah, see the green kind of cuts off here, but I like the, the yellow glow stick. I need to make a lot more, um, a lot more workbenches and slide them around. I don't know if I want workbenches out there. You know, like along the path or something. I think I'd rather just keep them in here. All right, so let's see what kind of damage we're looking at. A little bit. Not bad, actually. Minor damage from a few attacks we've had. Hmm. So far, so good. I'm wondering if these open spaces are kind of confusing them and making them trying to get different angles, which is why they're finding themselves stuck. Maybe that's what's causing that. I honestly don't know. Shouldn't. Yep. Not hung enough to eat that, but that's okay. Um, ah, good. I can use the mask here. Let's, um, get the generator going right away. Get some power built up. I'm trying to think, what's the next thing that I really, you know, there's things I want to build. It's like, what do I really need to build? Solar panels. I need at least two more solar panels for this base. All right, I'll come back up here in a minute for that stuff. My inventory is kind of full, so let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot to clean out too. All right, let's put all this in the, or most of it in the dump chest. Oh, all of it. Nice. Swap out to my better weapon. We'll go ahead and eat a liver since I have one here. Drink that. Yeah, I've got two cotton seeds that can be planted, so that needs to get done sooner rather than later. All right. Are those nodes still over here? I saw them when I went after the hunter. But I wanted to take care of the uh, hunter issue first. And then I was going to come back. Oh, I see a couple nodes, but I don't think I can get that one over there. 
Alright, I have to go ahead and down for this one. It's on a slope, makes it a little harder to get. But that other one's too far up on the wall. I'm probably never going to be able to get that one. And I'm not going to waste time trying. Let's check on the chicken. Should be good for another two days, but you know, since I've got the time, I might as well check on the chicken. Uh, chicken's doing more than good. Awesome. You can see how the light is in here. It, it's still cut off. It's not. See, this goes through the floor really good, but some places it does and some places it doesn't. Yeah, I need more work matches because I want more glow lights, but I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.